hi in this session I'm going to go to with you on um, FI related uh, which is uh, relating to the AR so which is a uh, we called FI financial accounting accounts receivable or our this is a one I'm, I'm going to go through with you and uh, in the FI accounts receivable we will be having master data and also master data covers all um, the setup which is uh, relating to account groups accounts group screen layouts and also a uh, number ranges and uh, you want to have a different uh, uh, account group for uh, uh, foreign vendors domestic vendors or employees or uh, you know uh, other uh, other different kind of uh, vendors so you can you can create your own uh, account groups uh, for for uh, um, account receivable or accounts payable so the setup for account receivable and accounts payable uh, is quite uh, similar and the business transaction the next one is reporting and also account statements so this is all um, I'm going to uh, go through with you and uh, train you on the setup which is relating to the accounts receivable so the let's let's go to one by one So the first thing, a master data. To do the master data, we need to go to the financial accounting, accounts receivable and payable, customer accounts, master data, prepare preparation for creating account customer master data. So you can go here, define account groups with screen layouts so here you have different account groups so what I'm going to do for uh, our setup is that I'm going to create a, a new account group which is a TR TRDM. So TRDM is uh, training domestic. So click OK. And here you can go here. This is called field status for the master data. So which one you want to make it a mandatory? And which one uh, should be optional so I always put a, a name as a first name is always a mandatory and also uh, let's say uh, the region or, or the country you want to be mandatory also can be uh, uh, put as a yeah in this uh, here you can see which one actually you can make a mandatory suppress or optional or display so here I would like to keep a name as a required entry and also when you go this is a general data an email address and uh, communication type and all this uh, under communication tab and here you have a another control which is a vendor corporate tax code or industry so here all these actually what you can do you can make either mandatory or a suppress or a required mandatory is required is comes under same and also optional or display so 
So here payment transactions, uploading points, contact person. So all these are uh, different tabs. So to see all the field check, um, uh, you can see under here. So now go back. Let me go. We are in the general data. So under general data, we've gone through all this. So when you go back, you can see company code data. So company code data here usually we make a, a reconciliation account as a mandatory and uh, payment terms of payment also let's say is it required for this trdm account group so i only make these two mandatory at this moment and I'm not using any uh, sales related here because uh, our FI posting is a purely FI posting and not an integrated posting from the sales invoice or, or a billing document or, or from, from the from the sales point of view so we are going to um, directly create a FI related invoice so now I click on save click OK so what I'm going to do I already created a our group here DM which is for domestic and I'm going to copy this is for maybe foreign and TR F4 TR F4 which is for foreign so we have created two groups one is a domestic another one is a foreign so let's say when you go into the screen layout per company code you can create a screen layouts as specific to the company code if you don't do that then it is applicable as a star whatever maintained here So after you create account groups, so you need to go to the create account ranges. So here you can see there is a, a ranges is already using. So in our case, I'm going to create a new interval for our account groups relating to the DM and F4. So our account group, which is Zero zero zero. So the other one is also maybe so here. Let's say nine nine nine. So you can maintain either external or internal. So let's say if you external, you need to maintain. You need to you need to specify the numbering. And if it is internal, then the system will decide the number. So I created this number range. Click OK and go back. Back now assign number range to customer account groups so let's see our account groups what we have created which is a tr so these are the one training for domestic and training for foreign yeah we created a number so you can see dm for a domestic and for for a so I will enter DM and FR. So now I assign the customer number range intervals. So now click OK. 
so whenever you see the account groups actually at the client level when I say client level um, these can be used by uh, any company codes so um, when you create these uh, account groups so these can be created across the company code so now I quickly show you on uh, how to create a master data for our customers to create the master data then go to since we are doing only financial side so I just go with the FD01 and if you want to create central leave even for our SD also then I would recommend to go with the XT01 so here is uh, when you click on this help button you can see what are all the account groups so I just type TR so I, when you type CR here these two appear on the top so now I click a uh, domestic or you can select the drop down from here so either way is can and uh, yeah so now we enter the company code TR03 click OK since it's an internal numbering I don't want to key in any customer number here so it's taking for a while uh, to create a go into the transaction okay so here this is called uh, uh, address data so I'm going to give a company let's say XYZ uh, limited So we enter the com country code uh, is D. I would like to use uh, Germany within the because it's a domestic. So you can enter all the details here. So as we see in the field status, you see communication, post box, street address, all this. Wherever is mandatory, you can maintain. And uh, the mandatory fields must be maintained. So I'm going to the controlling tab. Yeah, you have a lot of. Uh, controlling tab information tax numbers and uh, all these information you can use it uh, for creating the master data so now I quickly go to the company code data I don't want any other details so under company code data we need to use a recon account so the recon account here as and um, yeah we only having a foreign and uh, let me see is there any domestic I don't see any domestic um, the um, guaranteed customers and payment allowance top of all these are uh, there so we don't have a GL account for a uh, domestic so I should not assign uh, foreign but uh, no choice I'm going to assign foreign here uh, click OK payment terms so here um, you can put uh, what payment term you want 14 days or a you know let's say 14 days with the cash discount and uh, 30 days 2% and 45 days due net so I I should say the second one and uh, yeah that's all so click uh, save then the system will create a master data for the customer so it's uh, generating
after that the system is going to create the master data for a customers Okay, so now you can see our um, customer is created. So this is how uh, you can create a customer. Since we don't have a GL account for the domestic, maybe you can create for the domestic uh, one recon account. Since we copied uh, from the existing master data, I will show you the recon account and what we used for creating the master data. Yeah, so we are here. Center. So it's a trade reservable foreign, and it says, um, yeah, GL account, general uh, GL account. And uh, if we see the control data, it's for customers and uh, don't know line item is checked and uh, there's another one is is field status so what i'm going to see here is a trade receivables we have let me see our group chart of accounts This is a consolidation chart of accounts, which is one to star. One to star. I would like to see. So this is all uh, trade receivables. Okay. So now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, let me see what is the account uh, here we have 141 star just put 141 star so when I see here you can see only the trade receivables foreign and foreign one time so let me see where is the domestic so to check the domestic maybe I use 151 down payments um, yeah we don't have maybe 13 don't have so I just give one star So let me see if we have any trade receivable. So let's see. I will type uh, using the trade star. Yeah. 
so we have this account which is for a trade receivable domestic which is not created in our company code so what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to create one is a domestic which is a uh, in our company code so to do that um, you just need to uh, one is uh, adjustment another one is uh, this one so all these are domestic so what I do I will uh, create it so here actually uh, it's not a recon account so that's another reason it is not showing uh, in our um, when you're creating but even though you have a account here so what I'm going to do I'm just putting as a recon account this trade receivable domestic and uh, here it says a balance sheet trade receivable and uh, yeah so click on save so because uh, you should not select uh, only balance in local currency so another one is 0 0.99 also customers usually we don't need to select click on save so now when I go to the customer master data what we created how to change the customer master data then go to slash and fd02 because I wrongly assigned to my domestic customer as a foreign customer so I'm going to the same customer number and uh, changing here so uh, here is the here is what uh, we have a uh, assign so now what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to assign my existing record so previously it is not showing as a recon account let's see now whether it will show as a recon account or not for domestic yes you can see these two as part of our recon accounts so now I'm going to assign our account and then click save so because we correctly assigned account click save then the customer is saved thank you for watching so this is how you can create customer master data for our company code what we have created so thank you for